I love Kyle. What is your favorite Kyle line? Do you have one? Out oh of curiosity? Gosh. I mean, I don't know if I have a favorite, but what I love is people telling me their favorites. I, I think the <clears> – <throat> I love that people love to be chastised by him. It seems uh, like people are like, oh, my God, I love when Kaya tells me I, calls me lazy, you know, or, you know, I didn't know you were such a slacker, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> right. They, they just love those offhanded slaps from Kaya. Um, so I, I love hearing um, that one's one of my favorites. Another one is the um, what's wrong? Can't handle the cold. Ooh, that's great as well. What's yeah. wrong? Can't handle the cold. Yeah, man, it's 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 awesome, dude. And uh, and finding that character, man. I mean, do you like? What do you relate uh, to Kaya about? Like, like you got to relate in some way. I mean, everybody's got. It's weirdly been cast. Like the people that have um, that have gotten these characters have had these bizarre like uh, relationships with their characters, where it, it yeah. seems almost kind of strange. Yeah, super strange, actually. Um, yeah. Is with Kaya? What is it for you? What do you connect for with? Me? It's the what you what you have helped me to sort of find is that musicality, you know, that um, just that it's a very there's something very melodic about it. It's not sing songy, but it's still melodic. Um, but pers I think personally, what I connect with the most is the smirk. Oh yeah. Um, just that, like every line has some type of some type of smile behind it, kind of um, whether he's mad or not. Um, so yeah, I think that that there's just a sort of um, almost handsome mischievousness. Yeah, that, absolutely. He's always got a trick I, up his sleeve. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And he knows that you know, and he knows he's not going to tell you what it is. But you know, it's fine. It'll work out. And while you're pulling that up, uh, question for you, a separate question: If Kaya wasn't in the game. Of all the other characters, who would you want to voice? Now, you might not oh, have a, 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 a knowledge deep enough to necessarily yeah. answer that question. But Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I would have to say, I guess, and it's not even because of, it's not because of performance or story, because I, I don't know too much other than Kaya's story, but it would probably be D-Luke, just because that's super fun, right? Yeah, dude. D. Luke is pretty yeah. awesome, and you guys have similar atti attitudes. And funnily enough, yeah. uh, in the game lore-wise, you guys are pretty uh, pretty close as well. Well, uh -huh. used to be, uh -huh. you know. Exactly. Used to be. How about a ghost story to go with the snow? <laughs> What's wrong? Can't handle the cold. I love that. I love it. I, um, I, uh, I'm a big fan of. See, there's one that we did recently that's, um, let's see if I can find it. It's the, uh, ah, 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 not so, uh, something like not so fast or watch what you say, honorary night. Oh yeah. That was part of, uh, I think that was part of like the, it was like the main storyline quest in the, uh, one point, what is it? Three, maybe 1.3 quest line, maybe 1.2. Yeah. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. I love that one because that's another of the like. There's a smirk. He loves you, but he's also gonna just give you a little smack on the wrist. Well, he's just. I just love him because he's got. He's always got some kind of uh, some kind of you know card up his sleeve that he's always trying to like you know scheme in some regards. You uh, -huh. Know? uh huh. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, it was on the lantern right part. They're saying lantern yeah. right yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Would Josie uh, be buddies with Kaya if Kaya existed in real life? That's a good question. Oh, I, I think I'd have to be. I mean, if I met him in the tavern, of course. He is a little like, I don't know, man. He's a little like, he's not really warm and snuggly. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's not. But it's something that I think that COVID has kind of, you know, I mean, I think about going out and hanging out after this and I'm like, I don't know. I might just, I don't, I don't know, how many people do we want to be around? You know, it's kind of a crazy feeling. So just thinking about going and hanging out by yourself at the tavern and and talking shit to D-Luke, that, that, that kind of sounds, like, sounds like my game. <laughs>
Uh, were there any funny stories when recording Kai's lines? Uh, I don't know. It's you, been so long ago. I forget. I know. What sticks out for me is nothing specific, but it's like those moments, and I've shared this in my stream too, where it's like, and this is kind of any any voiceover gig where getting it wrong is pretty funny. Realizing when you get it wrong, you don't always know when you get it right, but you typically always know when you get it wrong. And I just, I remember saying some things in Kaya's voice and then immediately being like, nope, no, <laughs> no, 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 that's not how you would do that. Either. Yeah, man. He's, uh, it's, it's tricky. Cause when we record Kaya, there's always this, um, this line that we're trying to ride where basically you've got this, um, it takes, he's breathy as a character. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, you know, it basically has this situation where you run out of breath a lot, man. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's yeah. when you're trying to kind of get the words out, um, it takes a lungful, lungfuls of stuff. Yeah. You and Chris is my rock when it comes to reeling me in. <laughs> He's and, and I'll know it sometimes, but he was always like, just a little breath. Let's do it again, but just give me a little more up. And uh, yeah, you're, you're my rock. Oh, well. yeah, no. Yeah. It was pretty nice to see Kaya in a, a more recent uh, quest as well, <clears throat> with the lantern right and whatnot. Yeah, you know, it's been a while since we've seen Kaya in a story. Yeah, and those were fun little bits too. Yeah, some of that. Oh heck yeah! Just, and yeah some of that sassy. Um, you know, he's taking part in the the events, but also like, oh sure, yeah, great. You're my teacher. Go for it. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite thing I remember, uh, the first time I saw Kaya was, like, one of the first things we did, I thought, was that cutscene in the D. Luke storyline where where you're just sitting there sarcastically clapping as, like, uh, as a an Abyss Mage comes out, you know, out of nowhere. And, uh, and then D. Luke comes in, you know, with his fiery sword and, like, does this awesome stuff. And I was like, oh, damn. I was like, these two yeah. people are amazing. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, yeah, I think it was day one. Yeah, maybe. 